afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be in the world. Today is a good day to love Jesus because Jesus is, loves you. So we're having a good a study about all the angels and thinking about the angels come and help us to call on them in a time of prayer, in a time of need. We give you praise and glory and honor today. And I just thank you for watching the show and let you tell your next door neighbor, your friends. Make sure you and make sure you let your, your buddies know that what's going on on online ministries. It's a blessing for all of us, even the family. So it's a good chance for the mom, mom and our moms and our dads to come around and, and watch us uh, learn about the angels. Okay, so we're going to bow our heads in prayer and give God the glory. Amen. Father, we thank you today. We give you praise and glory and honor. We thank you, Father, for who you are and what you're doing in our life. We thank you that you give us angels to keep us safe. We give us angels to watch over us. And we give you praise and glory and honor. We thank you for the angels that you send to help us in the time when we need you. We give you praise and glory and honor. Thank you for angels coming to us and visiting us in dreams and visions. And we give you the praise and the glory and honor. We pray for all the people who, who need help. We need pray for the people that, that need help who are hungry. We pray for the people that, that need help in the hospital. We pray for our doctors, our nurses, our, the lawyers. We pray for our leaders of our nation. We give you praise and glory and honor. And we just thank you, God, for what you're doing in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm Brother Yappa Dabba Doo. Glad to pray for you. Jesus love you. Welcome once again to Finnish United Methodist Children's Church. We're so glad to have you with us today and coming in to learn with us all about the angels. It's so fun studying about God and God's Word and studying all about the angels that He provided for us to help us. And I think, let's see if we have our friends Polly and David with us. Polly, David! Hello! Hello, it's so nice to have you guys with us every week. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you, we Thank you. But you're teaching a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, I like it. You guys are very good students. You learn so well and you remember. And you learn the lesson and you share it with your friends. It's so wonderful. And how are you doing, David and Polly? I'm good, just fine. My friend Ray lost a tooth and a fairy put a whole dollar in his pillow. He's so happy. He showed it to me on his mom's phone. A whole dollar? Uh-huh. Wow. He can buy lots of 
things, you know, you can buy books, puzzles, and maybe some cars, and, and maybe gummy, gummy bears if you like it. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Wow. I want you to go and hold it, but my mom and dad says, we aren't allowed yet to visit people because of coronavirus. We don't want to get sick. Well, your mom and dad are right. You know, we're all staying away and, and, and protecting one another and, and keeping our distance. We're doing all the things we need, need to do to be safe because we don't want to get other people sick. We want them to be healthy and we yeah. want them to be happy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure this will all be over with very soon and you'll be able to go back and visit with your friends. Yes. Can I tell you something? Yes, please. Okay, okay. I I talk with Angel. Angel, Uriel. You talk with Angel Uriel? Well, yeah. tell me about it. Tell us. Well, I'm teacher. My mom and my dad they brought me a puzzle. It's a lot of them. A lot of pieces. And I tried so hard to put them all together, but it was too hard, too hard. And then, and then, I was going to cry. But then, I remember you saying that Angel and Ura can help us when we are making things. So, I prayed, and I said, God, Jesus, help! Help! <laughs> Well, that's so good, Polly. I don't believe. Yeah, I'm glad that you remembered to pray. And you remembered to pray to God and to Jesus. You didn't pray to Oriel. No, to Jesus. And I think, I think, the, I think they sent the angel Uriel because, guess what? I was able to put them all together by myself. Wow. Wow, I'm sure Uriel did help you. Teacher? Yes, David? I have a question. What so, is it, David? I know Polly prayed to God, but he also prayed to Jesus too. But teacher, you said we only pray to God. Well, yes, David. Jesus is God. Jesus is the Son of God. And you see, just like those of you out there, you're your parent's child. Your parent is a human being, and you're a human being. There are mommy fish, and there are baby fish. And, and David, like you, you're a monkey, because mm -hmm. your mommy and daddy are monkeys. Uh-huh. I'm a puppy. I'm a dog. You sure are, and a very beautiful, sweet puppy as well. Yeah, everything produces after its own kind. Well, thank you all so very much for sharing today. You know we're still on our study of angels. So today we're going to learn about another angel. This angel is a she angel or a lady angel. Oh, a girl angel? That's right. We haven't heard about the girl angel. What's her name? Yeah, teacher, what's her name? Well, let me tell you all about the next angel we're going to learn about. Her name is Haniel. Angel Haniel. Like Hannah or Anna, Haniel means God is victory. Haniel brings the victory of God. That Yeshua, Jesus Christ, won for the children of God. That's you and me. Wow. Teacher. Yes, Polly. What, yes. What is victory? Well, victory means to win. You know, like if you and a friend have a race and you run and you, you win the race. That's the victory. Or if your friend runs faster and, and they win, that's the victory. Oh, you know, I play a ball with my, my friend, and sometimes we're running to go catch the ball, and sometimes I get there first, and sometimes they get there first, so we win with victory. That's
That's right, Polly. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, David? My cousin's name is Victor. Does that mean he has victory too? Well, yes, David. The name Victor is taken from victory. It means victorious one, someone who always wins the victory. Like Jesus. Jesus has won the victory for us. Yay! Yay, Yay Jesus! <laughs> well, Haniel is a chief angel and is in charge of a host of Yahweh, our God. She has so many other angels with her. Oh, my daughter, another chief angel I give for her. And when you call her on, call her on, on Haniel, will you send one of the angels to call my daughters? That's right. Haniel is another chief angel and has a lot of angels that work with her. And when you call Haniel, if Haniel doesn't come, she'll send another angel that does what she does. Wow. Yes. Well, Haniel works with the poor and the needy. Um, Haniel loves to work with the poor and the needy and is an angel that is compassionate and has compassion. You know, sometimes you see people on the streets, even around here. Sometimes we see people that are homeless and they're sleeping on the streets. And yeah. Haniel, Haniel takes care of those people. Wow. A wow. uh, teacher. Teacher. Um, we have two kids, um, my mom and my dad, they send money to them, um, uh, to go to school and sometimes also to buy food. Um, we have their picture on, on, on our fridge, myself and my brother, sometimes we write a letter to, to them to tell them that we love them. Oh, that is so nice, Polly. You're helping people that are in need. And I'm sure when you send the money for food and for clothing, and then you send a letter to them let them know you really care about them, yeah. I bet that makes them feel so special. My mommy says there are many kids that don't have food to eat every day. We have to pray for them. You're right, David. We do have to pray for those children. And I wish a lot more people would be like like Polly and her mom and dad and, and help them, you know, send money to, to feed them and help give them clothes and help them be able to go to school so they can learn. And, and write them nice letters and pray for them. It's so nice that you have their picture. Yeah. You can look at their picture and pray for them. When you come visit us, I'll show you. Oh, thank you, Polly. It's almost like they're a part of your family, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, like I was saying, Angel Hania also likes to be by the side of anyone who's being treated badly because they don't have anyone to help them. Sometimes, sometimes some children pick on other children. Yeah. And... They bully them. They bully them because yeah. that child doesn't have any friends. Or because that child doesn't have nice shoes or clothes or some other silly reason to tease them. The bullies aren't good. Yeah, it's not good to bully. It's not nice to bully people. Well, Angel Haniel doesn't like it at all. And Angel Haniel comes to stand with that child to protect him or to protect her. I like Haniel. I like Haniel too. I bet Haniel is with our friends, those two friends. They're in another country. Oh, in another country? Yeah. Well, I'm sure Haniel is there. To protect them and to be with them and to help them. And I'm sure it was probably Haniel that encouraged your family to help those children. Wow. Yes. Well, we had a very good lesson today, and I'm so glad you guys were with us. And I'm so glad you were with us out there as well. Learning all about the angels is fun, isn't it? Yeah! Just yeah. so good. They're so good, and they're, God loves us so much, he sent them here to help us. 
He loves us a lot. He loves us a lot. He loves us a lot. And when we learn about the angels and we call on the angels and we know their name, they'll come to us and they'll respond and they'll help us. Wow. Well, you thank guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm so happy to have you here. And thank you out there for joining us as well. And we hope you can join us again next week as we continue to study more about God's angels. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, welcome back. Well, for an activity today, we learned about the angel Haniel. Maybe you can think of a time when you won a victory. Maybe it was a, a good grade you got on your test at school. Maybe it was a, a, a competition that you won, like a spelling bee. Or maybe it's something that you want to win. Or a game that you played with your family. Think of a time when you won the victory. And was Hanael there with you? Something else you can do for an activity. If you see someone that's poor and needy, like someone homeless on the street, pray and ask Hanael to take care of them. God bless you. See you next week. Hi, welcome back. Let's just summarize our lesson for today. Today, we learned about the angel Haniel. Haniel means God's victory. And Haniel is the one that brings the victory that Jesus won for you and I as children of God. Haniel is another chief angel of God that over the host of Yahweh, or God's host. And Haniel has a lot of other angels that work with her. Matter of fact, this is the first angel that we learned about that is more feminine, or is a female angel. Haniel is a very compassionate angel and takes care of those that are needy and poor, like the homeless that we see on our streets. Haniel is the one that takes care of them. And if you see someone that's on the streets and that's homeless, or maybe your family, like Polly's family, sends money to help someone, pray and send the angel Haniel to be with them, to take care of them. God bless you. And hope you join us again next week. Bye-bye.